Columbia, Houston, your mission, and we know you'll be glad to accept it, is to extend to 17 days on orbit. Congratulations. Good work on the IFM. We didn't respond to your previous call because the speaker was off the flight deck uh, because of pause. Now all four subjects have completed pause for the day, and I hope you were watching the uh, live air to ground and you could see the crew response with your announcement. And we are uh, willing, able, and eagerly anticipating uh, all the data we're going to gather with that extra day on orbit. So thanks a lot to management for uh, giving us that extra day. This uh, television picture from the Space Lab module showing payload commander Susan Helms on the left with uh, her crewmates, uh, mission specialist Chuck Brady, who is uh, at the top of the picture, Jean-Jacques Favier, French payload specialist on the right. As uh, life science research data continues to be collected, Near the center of our screen, we can see Mission Specialist Chuck Brady participating in the Canal and Otolith Integration Study, or COIS. Chuck Brady is wearing some electronic light occlusion goggles, part of the hardware for the COIS investigation, and he is involved in voluntary head movement protocols in which he follows a target on the luminous target display, which we're viewing from the back near the foreground in this picture. Uh, on the other side, a series of light-emitting diodes, or LEDs, uh, are lighting up at various times, and Chuck Brady must follow the movement of these LEDs to complete these protocols. Payload Commander Susan Helms, to Chuck Brady's immediate right, is assisting with the operation of the COIS hardware.
Alex Del for Pedro. Does this remind you of anything? Yeah, this looks like an eel or maybe something that lives on the ground. Like maybe a snake?
and Tesla we've got the view and we like it. And uh, your view was a little bit out of focus, but we could appreciate all the details in there. I know. This is Space Cloud Control Huntsville. We're currently looking at video from the Bubble Drop and Particle Unit facility, a multi-user facility. Uh, currently loaded in BDPU is a Straub test cartridge. And this is a test cartridge to investigate the fundamentals of boiling heat transfer on small heating elements of different uh, shapes and sizes. And hopefully investigators will attempt to determine the conditions at nucleation and to optimize heat transfer. Bob Thursk in the center of our screen, working the canal and earlith integration study, is actually still performing the voluntary head movement portion of the experiment. The goggles that he has donned are the electronic light occlusion goggles. And these uh, have a crystal lens incorporated into modified ski goggles. Uh, the lens are opaque in its natural state, but will become translucent when an electric current is applied. When he is completed with the voluntary head movement portion of this experiment, he will continue to the optokinetic nystagmus portion of the, of the experiment. <laughs> 